friends, it's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today, I'm going to be doing a book review on Allie and Bee by Katherine Ryan Hyde. <clears throat> so, I've never read anything by Katherine Ryan Hyde, and this was really good. I'm giving it four stars, and this book is about Allie and Bee. <laughs> And um, it says on the back, outcasts cross paths just when they need each other most. B has barely been scraping by since her husband died. After falling for a telephone scam, she loses everything and is forced to abandon her trailer. So um, B is, is elderly. She's in her, I want to say 70s, late 70s maybe. And <clears throat> her husband dies and she lives in a trailer, in a trailer park. And she's really struggles to make ends meet. And um, <clears throat> the very beginning of the book, she falls for a telephone scam where a person calls her and tells her <clears throat> that he's the IRS and he needs that she owes a lot of money and he needs her checking account information so that he they can get paid. They'll just take it right out of her account for her and she won't have to bother sending it in, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, this person wipes out all of her money, all of her savings, everything. So sad. But anyway, um, so what she ends up doing is she decides she's going to live in her van and she's going to travel, um, <clears throat> going to, uh, warmer <clears throat> states, you know, whenever it's cold and then colder states when it's warm, you know, vice versa, so she doesn't have to worry about air conditioning and things. So, <clears throat> what she does is she puts her, uh, she takes the seats out of the van, except for the two in the front, puts her recliner <clears throat> in the van, gets her cat, kitty litter box goes underneath the seat, and she takes off in her van. And so, it says, with only two-thirds of a tank in her old van, she heads toward the Pacific Ocean with her cat on a mission to reclaim what's rightfully hers, even if it means making others pay for what she lost. So, <clears throat> B kind of, uh, mm, she kind of swindles people along the way. Like she tell, like she sees a young man with a baby at a gas station where she has pulled over to sleep, basically. She's left in the parking lot. And then she kind of watches the people to see which one she can swindle yeah so she basically says a guy stole her purse and she doesn't have any money and all she needs is a tank of gas to get home he buys her a tank of gas yeah so b feels a little guilty <clears throat> but not too guilty because she does it again <laughs> so yeah so then Allie comes into the picture and Allie is 15 so when 15-year-old Allie's parents are jailed for tax fraud, she's sent to a group home. So yes, uh, both of her parents get arrested for tax fraud. So, but when her life is threatened by another resident, she knows she has to get out. So while she is in the, the group home, she has an altercation with one of the girls there. And not knowing that, the, that this girl is quite violent and... Uh, Another girl that lives there tells her, you should not have done that. You need to leave. We got to run away. Here, I'll take you with me. So they both run away from the home. <clears throat> she escapes only to find she has nowhere to go. Go until fate throws Allie in Beast's path. Yeah. So basically, um, <clears throat> the girl that Allie left with has a pimp. Yeah. So they try to draw her into that, and it, she doesn't do it, but she gets sold as a sex slave to somebody, and the man who is hired to take her to the person that bought her, um, she actually gets away from him, and that's how she becomes um, partners with B. <laughs> Says, reluctant to trust each other, much less become friends, the two warily make their way up to the Pacific coast. Yet as their hearts open to friendship and love from the strangers they meet on their journey, they find the courage to forge their own unique family and begin to see an imp 
perfect world with new eyes. So I just want to read this, uh, one of the first chapters, and talks about um, Bee's van that she's going to live in. It says, Bee's new home was 12 years old and boasted 145,216 miles. It had decent tires and air conditioning in the dash that still worked. It had two windows in the back, one in each of the double doors, and no windows on the sides. That was fine with B. The less she had to convert the trailer's old drapes to work in her new quarters, the better. <clears throat> the harder it would be for passerbys to see in. <clears throat> it sits, its sides were painted with the words, Sun Country Bakery, with a stylized sun in the bottom curve of the yes. But, over the years, the weather had been hard in the letter, lettering, causing the paint to chip and peel at the edges. Just like Herbert's chaotic and poorly run business near the end. So her husband had owned a bakery and basically didn't do very good. But she still had the van. Um, <clears throat> B worked on its interior for two days. Both days she waited until nightfall to do so. For obvious reasons. So, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. B is basically leaving um, unannounced because she has wrote all of her checks out for her monthly bills. Well, not realizing they're going to bounce because she got scammed. Yeah, where the guy got all of her money. So she's leaving under the cover night. So she leaves and um, goes on her her merrily way, you know, kind of swindling, swindling people on the way. And she meets Allie. So, you already know that Allie gets away from the man who is trying to take her to the person that bought her, and <clears throat> she meets up with B, and she talks her into letting her ride with her just to a certain point, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, they end up, you know, staying together until they get to the very end of uh, the Pacific Ocean, and things happen along the way, and they, and B's quite grumpy, kind of crotchety, <laughs> and Allie is like, okay, woman, you are, you're kind of mean, you know, type thing, <clears throat> but they become friends, they become close, and this is a very heartwarming story. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, four stars, and I actually looked on my um, ebook on the library site, and they have a, a few more of her books, so... Now, her other books seem like they might be YA, I'm not sure, which I typically don't like, but if they're like this style, then I would like it. So, anyway, that's all I have for today. <clears throat> if you would please give me a like and a subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And also, if you did not know, I had another YouTube channel called Read Along with Aunt Ninny that I talked about in previously videos. Um, I will no longer be having that channel. It will be deleted. So, just to let you know. And also, this channel is going to be taking a little bit of a different direction. And I'm going to be doing um, book reviews, book hauls, um, li little free library tours, um, <clears throat> product reviews, and travel vlogs. So, stay tuned for that. And that's, have, that's all I have for today. Thanks, friends. I'll see you next time.